big happy Monday to you all. I hope you all have the best, most positive week ever. I'm praying that's what we have this week. Although the weather outside is bouncing it down as usual here in the UK. And I said we're starting the day off in a positive way, but actually little Jace is definitely not going to agree. Because this little man, who's getting a little bit fidgety, has his eight week injections today. Oh no. I know I feel you, baby. I feel you. Even though Jace is turning 11 weeks on Wednesday, he's a bit late having these injections because he was due to have them a few days before we went on holiday to Mallorca, but the doctor advised we put them back. He didn't recommend him having injections just before we went on an abroad holiday. And they couldn't fit us in last week, so this week is the first time they could fit us in. So me and Jace have just been doing a photo shoot before we set off for the injections and it makes me sad. Look how happy he is. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry that this has got to happen, sweetie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's like, what? Look at how chubby he looks. <laughs> he looks so chubby. <laughs> Look how cute he is. Yeah, that teddy's as big as you, babe. That teddy's almost as big as you are. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing right now? I honestly can't think of anything worse than taking your baby for their injections. I always feel so horrendous for like days beforehand and I just feel so awful knowing that I'm about to go and, go and put him through pain, probably make him feel like absolute rubbish for the rest of the day. I remember when the girls had their injections, they got really bad fevers and they just, you could tell they felt so bad and they were so sleepy for the rest of the day. And I feel awful doing it to him, especially because he's just laying there, <laughs> laying on the floor right now, so happy, not knowing, not knowing what's going on. Do you? You've got no idea. You've got no idea. Oh. I know lots of different parents have different views on vaccinations and things like that. But I just want to remind everyone that we're all doing our very best as parents and doing whatever we feel is best for our child. So if you do have different views or alternative views and you do feel like you want to comment them down below, then please bear in mind that other people might not always agree and we're all just doing what we can for our children. And it's hard enough parenthood without being judged for everything you do. So please just keep your opinions respectful in the comments down below. Right then you, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Come here. Here we go, little man. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jace. This is for your own good, darling. But I'm just so sorry it's got to hurt to begin with. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I promise I'll give you cuddles all day. Come here. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day snuggling you, I promise. And if you want to feed for seven hours after this, I promise I will feed you for seven hours after this, okay? Okay? Let's go. Mommy loves you. Oh, it's going to be too late to have them. Oh yeah, come on, let's go, little man. All done. Good boy. All done, sweetheart. Oh my god, guys. That was so brutal. Are you okay, little man? Oh my gosh, I feel horrendous. That was so brutal. You all right, baby boy? Oh. Hey. Oh. One, two, three injections in what? Well, no, at once. One, no, two, three injections no, at once. what was bad was that he stopped breathing. Not like stopped breathing, but he took a, you know when babies cry and they hold their breath? At the first injection and his breath was still hold at the third. That's how long he <laughs> yeah, held his breath for. Yeah. I was like, baby's not breathing, he's not breathing. He, was, he, he breathing. was really, really upset, And then, and then all of a sudden he went ah, and let the breath out and I was like, oh my God, so scary. He was really upset. So scary, only because Isla okay used to, it was, was it Isla? She used to do that until she passed out. Yeah, she did use oh. that. She used to breath hold, didn't she? Darling Are you okay, boy. sweet boy? That was awful. It wasn't me, darling. I know I held you, but it wasn't me that did Are you it. you okay now? He's looking at me as if to say, you did it, Dad. You held, that's why you held him. Oh, dear me. Are you feeling much better now, my darling boy? Is that better now? <laughs> He's back to his happy self. That was awful. But you liked them sweet drops she gave you, didn't you? Hey. <laughs> his tongue's going. You thinking about those sweet drops? So we've just quickly nipped up to Morrison's to get some Calpol just in case he gets a fever a little bit later. She said that he probably will and the fact that all three girls did means he's probably going to get one too. And so we're just dipping up here now to get some Calpol and a few little bits and bats that we need for home. Some dinner for tonight because I think the girls don't want what we've got in 
not that they don't want it but they asked if we could have spaghetti bolognese tonight it's one of our family favorites and definitely wanting to get something that's quick and easy for us to cook tonight just in case little jace is being a bit fussy and is feeling rubbish we don't know so we want something quick and easy to cook and it's gonna be spag ball you feeling okay you're feeling sorry for yourself i'm feeling sorry for you too oh it's very serious now I'm feeling sorry for you too. Ah, oh, you can't resist a smile for mommy though. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, chasing him. You melt my heart, little boy. So we decided on spaghetti bolognese for dinner tonight and I was just like, I just had the random idea when I was walking past a pile of bread cakes that looked really juicy. Put spaghetti bolognese in a bread cake, like a spaghetti bolognese butty. I reckon that'd be good. Comment below what you think, guys. I think Nikki are a bit crazy. Think you got enough bananas there, babe? No, actually. <laughs> That's like two days worth. You so many bananas. <laughs> you looking after my fruit? <laughs> good boy. Look how delicious these look. Flamingo strawberry chocolate cake bars and unicorn rainbow cake bars. The girls gonna love you after school. The girls will be. Lo I'm always on the hunt for like little treats for after school. Feel a bit, they are a bit naughty, but we've got a nice basket going on here. Got my sugar snaps, my favourite. Got some hummus, some caramelised onion hummus. Oh, look at Jay's face. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Caramelised onion one. No, that one. Is he crying? Has he got a tear in his eye? It's just like I don't know what I'm feeling right now, but it's not good. Oh, Bubba Scuba. Oh, we'll do this shop really quick and get you back home, hey? And you're silent crying and laughing at mummy. Hello, darling. Hello, cheeky little man. We get this shopping really quick and we go home for snuggles. Yeah? Oh. Uh, there is no carrot bat on, sorry, babe. Oh, I hate cutting carrots. That makes me sound so lazy. Carrot cutting, I never get the I can never get the shape of batons, I can only cut in like circles. Just dip it all carrot in, no cutting involved. Dip it, eat it. A whole carrot? Yeah. In the hummus bowl? Yeah. So we just got back after picking Isla up from school. Jace is now fast asleep. He's definitely trying to fight off those little bits of infection. They give the infection, don't they, in tiny dose? Dead infection. Dead infection, yeah, dead infection. In a tiny dose and then the body fights it off, so that's how they become immune to it. He's definitely working hard on fighting that off right now because he's in the deepest sleep. Unfortunately though, this one, you're actually radiating. I can feel the heat coming from you from here. Has come home saying, well, first things first, when she came out of school, Chris looked at her and said, oh gosh, Isla's got poly eyes. You can always tell when Isla's got poly eyes. Um, and he said she's definitely not going to be feeling great. And then I asked her, she said, no, I'm fine, but my throat's hurting. Isla's definitely not one to complain when she's not feeling well. And then I said to her, you feel very, very hot. Are you sure you feel okay? Yeah, I feel fine. But then she went upstairs, she put like a top on, a onesie, and then this big fluffy thing. And I said, Isla, it's boiling, what are you doing? She said, I'm not boiling, I'm freezing. She's definitely got a fever. So we're about to snuggle down, get some cow pog. Not very well household, is it? I think it's daddy. Spreading all these germs everywhere. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing worse at all than when your babies are sad and upset or hurting like Jay's and Isla are tonight. It absolutely sucks. Especially because I can't even hold him and give him some love because I have got the worst man flu, if that's even a thing. Worst flu thing ever right now. It's horrible. It's all in my chest. It's in my tonsils. I've got like, it's moved always when I get things like this, it always moves into my tonsils. It's moved into my tonsils. I've got antibiotics for it now because it's like a chest infection-y thing. It sucks, but I do not want to give it to Jace because if Jace caught this, he wouldn't be able to feed and life would be not good for him at all. He would not feel very good at all. So I've been trying to stay away from him as much as possible. I've literally honestly been. I had um, this morning when um, Sarah went to go get showered, I, I was looking after Jace, but I had like a, a scarf around my face, like a like a mask so that I didn't breathe in him at all. It sounds silly, but I don't want to risk him catching this. It's really not nice. But it sucks that I can't give him love because I desperately want to. Are you okay, gorgeous? Yeah. But tonight. Oh, Isla's got a special day coming up with her friend who's moving away to New Zealand. And she's going to have a special day with her soon, right? And Isla's very excited and counting down to it. How's I, Mr. Pace face? Just, not very good. Did I just hear you say you had a scarf around your face? Do you have to? Okay, you guys. This is what Chris has been using as a face cover. Well, I wasn't gonna out myself about this because there's just no need really, is there? I've seen as Sarah did. Yes, it's a nursing bra. 
<laughs> yes, it's a clean nursing bra. Yes, he does pick up the camera about four times. I go, oh, I can't vlog with this on my oh, face. Oh, I better just take it down. Yeah, yes, he did answer the door, the door to the postman. <laughs> <laughs> and then he took it down, but take it down. He's still got it around his neck. <laughs> no, I didn't just do that. I flipping ran out into the street to go and get Prinny with it around my face. And the neighbour drove past and was like, oh, dude's got a bra strapped to his face, okay. Look, it protects me. It stops me from getting any type of breath whatsoever on Jace, which is what is important. So, if it takes a nursing bra, to, I don't actually have a scarf anywhere. That's why. So, you otherwise, can, I could do something else. You can you can bin that bra after. That's full of full of your germs right now. <laughs> He's so unsettled right now. Look at his eyes. The second I move, move a hand or anything, he starts crying. Look Bless him. Oh, oh, oh no, right, Bubba. I got you. I got you. Oh, oh no, Bubba Scuba. Anyway, hi, Les Savannah. It's time, man. You're gonna help me with some dinner? Yeah. Isla wants to help me cook dinner tonight. We're gonna do spaghetti bolognese. When yeah. she's finished drawing on the whiteboard. <laughs> right, let's do it. <laughs> well, Isla's feeling better. Are you feeling better now? You've had some paracetamol? And she sat playing on her iPad on a maths game. Unexpectedly, is actually feeling really, really well. He's happy and smiley as his usual self. Oh dear, he's had a little sleep. He doesn't seem to have a fever. I've not given Carl Paul just in case. I don't like doing that. I'd rather wait and see if he needs it. But he doesn't, and he's so glad. So now he's sat playing with Esme. He's happy, baby. He is. He's so he's good. It's because he loves you. Oh, and he just scratched himself and made himself bleed. He did just scratch his little face a teeny tiny bit. <coughs> Didn't you? We did him nails. Crap, but we can't do. Cut inky binky. <laughs> they're so long. You can still cut inky binky nails. Yeah. I just haven't done it for about a week and they grow so fast. Yeah. Yesterday it was so cute. Sometimes when he go, when he puts his lip and he's about to cry, his face looks like it goes really long and he went like this. <laughs> He's good. He does have a big bottom lip when he wants to cry, doesn't he, Esme? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. He did what, Esme? Oh, oh. Aww. Well, I'm so glad he's not feeling really bad. Fingers crossed it stays this way. So, Isla, do you want to... Well, I say do you want to. I know you do because you just asked me if you could. Tell the IFAM about your Florence Nightingale poem that you got to perform at school last week. Now, I'm so impressed. Remember, guys, Isla's only just turned seven and I'm so impressed you can remember this. You want to go? Yeah. Right, this is Isla's Florence Nightingale poem. Long ago there was a soldier fighting in a war. His name was Bert and he got hurt, his leg was very sore. They took him to a hospital and put him in a bed. They thought he would get better but he got much worse instead. It was a nasty smelly place. Everything was dirty. The floors, the beds, the bandages. Paul Lord and Jim Bertie. Onto the bed jumped three big rats. They laughed at Bert and said we'll give you a nasty disease and soon you will be dead. <laughs> Poor Bert was very scared indeed. The rat's right, he feared. He thought that he was going to die, but then a light appeared. It was a lady with the lamp called Florence Nightingale. She took one look at the rats and picked them up by the tail. No rats allowed in here, they said. Oh, she said, and this I'm quite de determined. From now on, this hospital will be kept clean, s safe and determined. Florence Nightingale was the best nurse I have ever seen, but she did so much more than just keep one hospital clean. She wrote great books about nursing and opened up a school. She made it seem like being a nurse was really, really cool. <laughs> Guys, if that doesn't deserve a massive thumbs up, then I don't know what does. You are so clever. 10 out of 10, Esme, that's mm -hmm. right. You're so clever for remembering mm -hmm. all of that poem. It's so good and it's such a clever poem because it teaches you all about Florence Nightingale, doesn't mm -hmm. it? I'm very proud of you, Isla. You feeling okay still? Yeah. Good. And this little man's still feeling good with Esme. <laughs> little man, do we little know Little man. He loves this. He literally does, doesn't he? Yeah, he loves it man. so much. I just uploaded a picture or a couple of pictures of Jace onto our family Facebook page, the Ingham family, and also my personal Instagram, Sarah Ingham Official. Go check those pictures out if you haven't seen them because they're so, so 
adorable. But I did just want to say that I'm so glad that I'm not alone in feeling like I feel when I have to take Jace for his injections. I've just been chatting to some of you guys on Facebook about how awful it is. And it's not nice knowing that you guys have to go through it as well, but kind of nice knowing that everyone feels the same, all parents feel the same when they have to take their babies for their injections. And it's, it's not nice seeing them in pain, but I'm so relieved. That's so far, I mean, it's only half past five, one, two, three, four, five, four hours ago we had them now. And he's not had any fever, he's not been feeling ill, and he's just been his usual happy self. He did have quite a long sleep after we had them, but since then, he's been feeling good, which is so nice. I spoke too soon, hold on, baby. He doesn't want to feed, and he's not a happy boy. Mia. So we're going to try some cow pots. Yeah. It's gonna be a nice flavour friend as well. Oh, that's a different flavour. Yum yum. Yum yum. Oh no, swallow it, darling. Okay. Goodbye. It's all right. Goodbye. Oh no, hold that. Okay, Bubba Skins. His little fuzz. Come Come oh, it's okay, darling. This will make you feel nice. Last okay. Good boy. Clever. Good boy. Last one. Last one. Clever boy. Good boy. Oh, quick, oh. quick, quick. Bear spillage. Make you feel nice. Oh, no. You spilt it. Go, Bubba Skins. I'll lick it. It's only cow there we go. Good boy. Should that we, will help. Should we try feed again? Cool. That will help soon. Hi everyone. I have just got, well, I say I've just got back from school. I haven't. I got back from school like an hour ago and I've had such a busy day today. It has been crazy. I've had my biology exam, which didn't actually go that bad. It was pretty good. Um, it wasn't like really that hard. The exam wasn't really hard, but there was like two or three really like questions that I was low to come, but most of it I understood and it was quite good. And I also had a Spanish exam, which I loved. It was my favorite exam like I've had so far. It's, it was so good. I was really confident going into it and it was just really good and all like the writing and the questions were all good except for i didn't know what person was like or people sorry to say like there are however many people and it really annoyed me i was sat there for about 10 minutes because it was like the last question like what is this what is this i need to write it what is it and it was personas but I didn't write that and so I just left a gap. I wrote the rest of it so fingers crossed I might even get half a mark or something like that. Anyway, I've just been doing some revision because tomorrow I have a crazy day and they've literally put my worst tests all in one day, which is great. No, it's not really. Um, I have physics tomorrow. I cannot really stress to you how much like stress, like how to hate physics i absolutely hate it but like i'm always try i always try really really hard but i just don't understand it like you don't add letters together you just don't you just, you add numbers and not letters together it's just all very confusing but um i've worked really really hard and fingers crossed it'll be okay i also have a music music exam but i haven't stressed myself out too much of this i have done a little bit of revision obviously but I don't have to stress too much about some certain subjects. Um, so, say for instance, tomorrow I have music and I also have an IT exam. Next year, I'm not taking those classes because at the end of my school year, I get to choose what well, I've already chose, but I um, get to choose what classes I want to take. There's only like a certain amount that you can choose and that you don't want to do. And so I pick Spanish drama and art and the rest of the other subjects that I will not be doing. So, like, if I wanted to do three languages, I could, but obviously I'm not going to do that. Right? So, I've done like just those three subjects um so things like art uh things like dt music it all those other subjects but like all the other subjects i didn't take so i don't have to stress as much about those because i'm not taking them taking them next year and so i don't have to stress too much about them but i still have done a bit of revision guys i just need someone to tell me what on earth just happened what have i done 
So we've had a bit of an awful few hours in the house, not gonna lie. Poor Isla, I've just been upstairs to tuck her into bed after her and Esme went upstairs to have some iPad time and she was fast asleep cuddling her water bottle. Fast asleep, which is completely unlike Isla. So you can tell that she must be feeling pretty rubbish tonight as well. The last couple of hours haven't been the calmest in the house, so we haven't really filmed anything. Um, Jace woke up from a nap and um, had a feed, and just mid feed, just completely like lost, lost it. Like um, was screaming, completely unconsolable, and um, we couldn't calm him down at all. So we gave him a bath, which worked semi-ish, not really. It worked a little bit, um, and then Sarah got him out of the bath, dried him off, and she's been giving him some some skin to skin since then, and that seems to have calmed him down. And thank goodness now he's seems to have be sort of sleeping but he's not settled though he's um he's clearly feeling super rubbish or hurting somewhere i don't know but he's had his cow pole like an hour ago and or two hours ago. more than that he should be working by now he still seems to be in pain uh, no matter what so um fingers crossed anyway he's gonna wake up in a bit and and go to sleep tonight and it'll be all good in the morning. But yeah, sorry guys, we didn't really film much the last couple of hours just because all that was going on and it was a bit crazy. Um, but we will call it a night here. We're gonna watch some Love Island. Comment below your new favorites. I know there's a new guy going into the house tonight, I think. Something like that anyway. It's about to get shaken up. So comment below what you're thinking right now and we'll have a chat about it tomorrow night for definite. Anyway guys, we're gonna crack off, go watch some Love Island and get this boy to bed. So until tomorrow at 5 p.m., give this video a big thumbs up for Jace, and we'll see you then. Good night, guys.